Look, so this whole Robin China special, Robin China baby special, technically still season one, episode seven of their show. I'm going to do it a little bit differently because we need to talk about what happened on Saturday night. Apparently, uh, Black China's social media got hacked, got hacked the day before this special is supposed to come out. And so these text messages are posted to her Instagram saying how, oh, she's going to go and leave Rob. Her plans to go and leave Rob, take Dream, take, of course, King, take all the food in the house, even the, unopened, uh, the open food, and leave him with absolutely nothing. I'm looking at this like, oh, okay. All right. All right. She got hacked. It is what it is. But pretty messed up. I'm like, all right. I give everyone the benefit of the doubt, regardless if. I fully believe it or not. That's just what I do. And then, <laughs> Rob, two hours later, goes on Snapchat. Thank God I have a Snapchat and Instagram because I've been missing out so much. And thank God for Twitter for informing me on all the foolishness that's happening in the first place. But, he goes on Snapchat, decides to go and talk about, he was walking around his house like, Oh, and here's the pantry where she took all the food, including my open chips. Even the open chips. He opened up his uh, one refrigerator. Empty. Second refrigerator. Empty. Went into the nursery room. Oh my gosh. Dream's uh, nursery room was cleaned out and it's even vacuumed. And well vacuumed, I may have you. Jesus. Well vacuumed. And this, and this is the day before... Obviously, it's all possible that these aren't related incident, uh, incidents, but the reality is, we know they are. And regardless if this is a scam or if this is the full truth, I really, it's like, part of me wishes this is a scam because if Rob is really going, still going through stuff like that, oh god, someone, someone touch him, Lord, because we do not want to see on the news Rob Kardashian real mental breakdown or anything else. We, we don't want anything like that. And Black China, I'm like, we don't want to see this type of petty behavior at this stage in the game. On the special, it starts off with, why was the, she invited the birthing um, coach to go and show her how it'll actually feel if she goes through one process versus the other? Because she might have to go and do a C-section, which she actually, in turn, has to do. But this birthing coach gets on her hands and knees and starts going, I'm not going to go and emulate the sounds. But she was making sounds after sounds after sounds, and I'm like, what the? She, okay, I have to do it. Just, you know, she was making the moans like, no, I, I can't. Yeah. And at one point, China actually put her hand on Rob's crotch, like, you better not be getting excited. You better not be getting excited about this. Um, but yeah. Everything is going well. The relationship is so-called better than ever. Uh, I'm like, okay, this is cute enough. They're one big happy family. We get it. China's nervous about um, if she has to have the baby naturally or through a C-section. She has the ultrasound. The ult Even in the ultrasound, the picture, you see her baby's dream was sticking her tongue out like that. Ah, and it was cute. But what was really cute was how dream looked in the ultrasound is exactly how dream looked in real life and obviously nowadays that uh it's pretty good but i mean that was spot on and clearly she has a better relationship with chris and the rest of the family because she facetimed them to show them the pictures but she invited her friends and family including treasure and you know tokyo tony over they have this big sleepover clearly that um that furnishing, why well, I say furnishing, that pillow company uh, is the sponsor. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all really, y'all really couldn't go and make it a little bit more subtle. But they had a onesie party. They had a onesie party. And that was nice. We all Rob spinning in with the family. Uh, China's excited to have the baby because her and Rob are in a good place. The only issue is that they're not really sure if they're going to live together together like to get a house together or just continue to go and do the back and forth along with that we have rob and he invites scott over you know they choke they joke about oh you have a black swan is that supposed to be for china <laughs> so silly 
But, you know, Rob, Salkin with Scott, the usual relationship that they have, it's really cutesy, it's like, okay, so, how's the family, what's your plans for moving in together, all of that. Next day, Rob talks to Eddie, and Eddie tells him, if China doesn't want to go and just move in and become one big happy family overnight, don't force it, don't rush it, because you're going and stressing over something where you're not on the same page, and that's just going to cause strife and conflict. On the car ride over to China's, uh, China's baby shower, you know, she's just thanking everyone for having her back and being with her through her journey in life. And it was really cute and really happy. It looks great. Everyone's there except for the Kardashian clan, minus Rob, because of the fact that uh, they had some fashion thing to do. And we know the Kardashians love family, so that's not something that they will have missed. Because, um, of course, they were invited. And China's concerned about her mom, because Tokyo Tony's personality at times can be a little all over the place, and she just wants to make sure that her and her mom are on the same page with regards to Chris and making sure that they can all be in one room together. And then China kind of reiterates that to Rob. So she, China has a conversation with her mom, and her mom said something really weird to me. She was like, well, you know, with your daughters, you your kids, you, you treat them differently, and there's just certain things you don't do. You don't uh, drink with them, you don't turn up, you don't party with them, and I'm like, wait a minute, and China said it too, but we, we we did all of the above, like, what are you talking about, and I get it, she was trying to say, don't follow my lead with regards to some of the things that I did with you, then you turned out cool, but it could have gone either way, so don't do that in the future, okay, okay, don't do that with King, don't do that with Dream. And yes, I guess I can go and be in the same room with Chris. You know, it's not going to go and be the bane of my existence. The nursery looks really cute. And I'm thinking, oh, so that's what it was supposed to look like. Because what I saw when Rob Snapchat his whole house, I saw nothing. I saw nothing. I just saw an empty white room with a very clean carpet. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, now it's time for them to go and have the consultation with Chris and Tokyo Tony being there. And the thing is, you already t can tell that they there's not bad blood, but there's not a connection there. So when Chris, because Chris hugged China, but she had no interaction with Tokyo Tony. It's like a general acknowledgement, and that was it on both sides. And when Chris found out that because of, and I'm sure the camera guy was in there too, because this had to be recorded, so they couldn't have all those people in that room when she's trying to get the C-section done. They have to choose between either Chris or uh, Tokyo Tony being in the room, aside from Rob. And I was so, I was like, Tokyo Tony! Because she said, I got to experience the birth of China's firstborn king. So, I know you never got to experience Rob having a baby. I think that you deserve this because that is your only son. This is a really special moment. And Chris was just like, the fact that she was so gracious, no one had to pull her leg, she doesn't look pressed about it. This too much. Oh my god! And Charles was just like, oh wow! And Rob was like, yo man, that's dope. That's that's real dope. <laughs> anyway, we get from that to uh, now we have to take China to the hospital, and she's in the hospital and crying because she's concerned. You know, regardless of her mom, regardless of Treasure, regardless of Paris, no one's able to really console her because she's afraid of, oh no, what if something happens to the baby? But then her mom's like, no, I got you. You're my baby girl. I know how to calm you down. She decides to take it upon herself to go and start, <laughs> she starts dancing to the beat of <laughs> Dream's heartbeat. So this is like, mm, mm, boom, boom, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> and you know, that calms her down enough to where she's like, alright, I'm cool for now, but the other thing that helped her out was that during that waiting period and Rob filling out the paperwork. <laughs> oh god, I'm like, wait, is this a job application? Like, is this the form to acknowledge the fact that you're good enough to take the child out of the hospital? <laughs> it was like, have you had sex with a prostitute, someone who's done drugs, 
or what else within the past couple of years? Have you yourself gone to jail for more than 72 hours? Have you? I'm like, wait a minute. What is this for? Are you trying to implicate these people? Like, what is this really about now? So they take China to the room, and of course Chris is in there, along with the cameraman, or camera woman, camera person, and she successfully has, of course, Dream. The thing, though, was, of course, because of the pressure with them pushing in there, she was just like, ugh, ugh. I was like, oh, God, ugh, do not show us too much, do not show us too much. But they didn't, thankfully they didn't. They showed us when she was nice and already partially clean, I was like, oh, look at her. She's already fully formed. She looks just like Rob and his father. You cannot tell us any different. We already know that to be true. This looks like, oh, my little Armenian baby. And I'm like, okay, that's cute, but your baby's black. So we see what characteristics she'll develop over time. But I understand. This is a big deal for the family because they finally have a Kardashian again. They have the only next generation Kardashian. Wow. Just think, let that sink in. Black China is the heir, has the only heir to the Kardashian, like, wow. Anyway, everyone's there, Court, me, Chloe. Kim wasn't there, but she did FaceTime, and her and Kanye both said congratulations. The baby's so cute, and, and um, everyone's loving the whole. Again, that's why I said the Kardashians, if they're not good for anything else, uh, as far as us liking them for anything, they love their family. They're all about family. It is what it is. I hope that Rob um, really gets transformed and changed for the better. I hope that China or Angela calms down a little bit. And it was the, you know, the best part was King. King went and he went and held his baby sister. And when they were like, King and Dream, he was like, King and Dream, oh my god, he had this smile on his face, like, oh, she's mine, you're not getting her back, she's mine. <laughs> and yes, there will be season two of uh, Rob and China. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Mm -hmm.